The easiest way to perform a drain and fill is to actually catch the fluid. Now I'm not gonna catch the fluid to put the same amount back in. Simply going to catch the fluid to make sure it wasn't overfilled. So right here, I got my bucket set up. I'm gonna drain this to see how much fluid is actually in there. This is actually pretty clean. Why this customer came in wanting this, I do not know. And as you can see, we are reading at about three and a half quarts. So I know I will be putting at least three and a half quarts in this. This is just a good indication. Doesn't mean that's exactly what I'm gonna put back in. The last person could have underfilled it or they could have overfilled it. I'm not gonna put exactly what I took out. I'm going to use this just as a reference. I'm gonna add three and a half and I'm gonna top off from there. So remember, you never wanna put what you pulled out because what you pulled out may not necessarily be right. And that's how I'm gonna do a drain and refill on everything. Oh, and one last thing, let me add temperature of fluid will influence the level. If it's hot, the level will be higher. If it's cold, the level will be 